See that? It's got the insulation on it. Oh, yes. seem to be okay. It's unclear at this point whether the uh, what the size is for those. And they're supposed to be I think M20 by 8 mil. Which is to say this is an 8 mil copper coil. But um of course, nuts aren't labeled, and um, I'm sure they fit, but to get nut new ones, um, you kind of have to take a gamble and order stuff online um, to get your metric ones, like all the way from China or whatever. So I'm going to try this out, I guess. I'm going to put it together here and see what it looks like. Um, something else in another box, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, before I go any further, I need to point this out. I didn't notice anything on the box when I accepted delivery. It is dented. And that is the sketchiest approach to wiring I've ever seen. I don't know why they do that. Must be the way they do it in China, but we want strain relief and proper grounding. I guess that's the ground. So, but it has two water outs and two water ins. That's why do they have two ins? I'm gonna have to look at it on the inside because I've been told that you don't really want to have a Y, but there's not gonna be much I can do about that. I have a cooler that's got one out, as far as I understand, and unless there's a clever little flow balancing thing or something, I'm just going to have to put a Y in it and uh, figure out what size these are and stick them on. Okay, more bit of magic here. Just, I don't know if you can see those, those are all bent in, and the bottom is buckled too. the part where we look on the inside see what's going in there okay so I could feel which I guess I should be careful because there could be capacitors all over the place what is rubber doing floating everywhere those are a whole bunch of capacitors so there's a bunch of rubber and this is what seems loose. And I think what's happening is that that was probably shimmed in there with the rubber, but it isn't anymore. All right, so that's less than awesome. The rest of this looks pretty good though. So I don't know 
know if you can see this. This bracket and the other one on the other side. How loose. I think what I've seen in other cases is somebody took this off and probably ran the wires, which are, oh, can you see? Where am I? It's my thumb. There's my finger. That wire and that wire are where the two hot leads go. And you could bring them all the way up straight into uh, there breaker and ground ground the uh, ground chassis ground where it belongs I guess you could bring it down to where it is I think I'd want to scrape some of that paint off there because that brass bolt goes through but I don't know how well it's actually getting contact anyhow this little hole is where that brass grounding lug is supposed to go but like it's there's paint on the inside of the hole as well as the both sides of the sheet metal okay so this is trying to purge the air so what I'm doing now is making a big mess So, now there seems to be water in the coil, and it's going all the way through, and of course you can't see anything through this black fuel hose, but it is circulating back, and I don't see any bubbles coming through. Oh, hang on, I do. Okay, just got the bubble out of there. Okay. It's not beeping. Maybe that bubble was the thing. Pow, pow. Okay, I got some middle zone on this, and middle zone on this, and that's usually how I roll. Okay. I think that is desired behavior. All right, let's get her. Okay, I've been playing with the buttons. So these things are left the way they are. I'll look at that in a minute. When this is on auto, auto, instead of manual, instead of running the foot pedal, you push it, and it goes until you stop it. Or some such thing. Heat, power, and and retain power. I think that heats it and that keeps it at temp. Not sure I use that much. I like the foot power. Oh. 